this episode, we're leaving New York City for the New Jersey suburbs. I'm Fred Tessier, a member of the National Association of Realtors. Welcome to Union County, New Jersey. Thank Finally you. got us here. I'm finding young parents, Naya and George, room to stretch their legs. This there is like are. three New York City backyards <laughs> together. And even though the competitive field is jam-packed, I dread that word, yeah, open house. I know, that means a lot of eyeballs. I'll make a deal that stands out in the crowd. I'm Fred Tessier, a real estate agent and a realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors. New York has been my home all my life. I never thought that I would actually leave, but I've been doing real estate for eight years here in New Jersey. The New Jersey real estate market is absolutely hot. Everyone's leaving New York to come move to New Jersey. So it's the business. Everything is good. Business is booming, Mom. My mom has been in real estate for over 20 years. My mom handles New York, and I handle New Jersey. I'm taking after your footsteps. Of course, why not? <laughs> Eight years ago, I lost my home to Hurricane Sandy. It was a devastating time for me, but the beautiful thing is that I relaunched my business, turning a negative into a positive. Going to New Jersey today. My first time buyers are Naya and George and their son, Dylan. I'm George. And I'm Naya. We are newlyweds and we're shopping for our very first home. We currently live in Brooklyn, New York right now with our four-year-old son, Dylan. And our in-laws. I would love a yard that we could just walk right out into. And it's about time that we get our own space. During the pandemic, we realized how small a two-bedroom can really be. I want a pool there. You want a pool? Being from New York, we were like, uh, Jersey, we don't know. But then we met Fred, and he showed us what Jersey has to offer. Naya and George were pre-approved for a loan of $550,000. We asked Fred to focus on homes in Bergen County because that's all we knew. But we quickly realized that we were the small fish in that area. They were getting outbid by so many different other buyers. So I want to change the strategy a bit and show them homes under their budget. That way, they could have a little bit more of a competitive edge on the next phase. Hey, Fred. How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, man. How are you Good. feeling today? How you doing? Doing well, doing well. Welcome to Union County, New Jersey. Thank Finally you. got Thank us you. here. I'm getting ready to show Naya and George a beautiful two-story colonial home in Union County, New Jersey. The house hits all the buttons that they were looking for. It's not exactly turnkey, but it's under their budget. So far, the neighborhood looks good. I like how it feels out here. Mm -hmm. The house on the outside looks, it looks a little older, though. This house was built in 1939. Oh, wow. However, Ooh. when you go inside, you'll see that it's got some good bones. Okay. Feels good. Okay. This house has three bedrooms, okay. one and a half bathrooms, 1,671 square feet. Okay. Right. That's definitely a good size that we were looking for. It's listed at $470,000. Oh. That's not bad. That's, that's a not great Not too price. bad, which is why we came cool. to Union to yeah. get you under. Our budget is 550, so that gives us really good negotiating power. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, this is so nice inside. Look at how much space we're getting. Look at this space. Are you kidding me? Look at the living room. It has a fireplace. It does. And that's a wood-burning fireplace, and by the way. These are built-ins, right? These are like, built-ins. I like the uniqueness of this, that it's built-in. We don't have to buy any bookshelves. High ceilings. Yes. High ceilings. Listen, look, lighting I can't even ceilings. touch it. What and there's these, lighting on the ceilings as well. What are these called again? Recess lighting. Recess lighting. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. Take a look at the dining room. Oh. Oh, this is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. What about this banister? The banister on the stairs? Nah, I mean, yeah. It's like a huge eye store right there. <laughs> Let me show you guys upstairs. <laughs> wow. This room is huge. What? This room is Fred? huge, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is, this is why about. you wanted us to come to Union. This might be the biggest primary we've seen so far. What is this? Is that an ensuite? Unfortunately, it is not an ensuite bathroom. Oh, but... Fred, if that was an ensuite, we would have signed the papers right now. <laughs> This is the first bathroom, the full bathroom. Take a look, tell me what you think. This is the full. Oh. <laughs> it needs some work. <laughs> you have to bend and take a shower in here. Yeah. The upstairs bathroom needs work, but the rooms are really huge. I love that. Oh my gosh, this kitchen. Definitely not what I expected. No. Okay. These cabinets are old. <laughs> the colors are outdated. This good countertop space, but just not our style. This looks a little dated. Now, if you wanted to just redo the entire kitchen, 35000 to 50000 Wow. Depending on what materials you use. $50,000 to renovate this whole kitchen, mm -hmm. 
Plus we're talking upstairs, what, 10 to 15? Mm -hmm. For the bathroom. Right. Let's not forget outside. That's putting us right at our 550. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. That and also this is our first time purchasing a home. We've never been through a renovation before. Oh, wow. Look at this. This Big is yard. like three New York City backyards <laughs> together. <laughs> and you did say you like to entertain, bit. so this is where it's this at. This is right? definitely great for entertainment. Yeah. Dylan could play around back here. The yard is yep. huge. The yard is very huge. And the neighborhood just felt like a community, and we want that especially for Dylan. This kind of helps. It's like, sweet the, the tone deal. a little, a little bit, bit different, it, right? It, it changes it just a little outlook, bit. Definitely outlook is a little bit different. I must say that they are doing an open house tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, so I if feel we like were I dread to, that word, yeah, open house. Yeah, I know. That means a lot of eyeballs. Yeah. So if you were to put in an offer, I'd say around 480. 480 would be something that I think they would be interested in, especially to stop the open house. 480. 480. I mean, that price, that price is, sounds good because it's definitely under our budget, but just considering everything that has to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think you could set up some homes that are fully renovated for us to see? Absolutely. I actually have some turnkey available for homes. you tomorrow. This home is still in the running, but they want to see something that's a little bit more turnkey. So I have a few homes scheduled for them tomorrow. I'm getting ready to show Naya and George a one-story home. It was actually built in 1952, but it was rehabbed and remodeled in 2021. The home is renovated, so you got new siding, new roof, new gutters. Everything is pretty much new on this house. I love the clean lines. I would love black shutters, but I do also see that it's a one-story. It is. In fact, it's 1,380 square feet in this home. Oh. That is a little smaller than we were looking for. Yeah, definitely is. You said, like, 16. Okay. Also, I don't see a garage. There is not a garage, unfortunately. You do have a side entrance on the home, so once you pull up, you'll see the side entrance. Yeah, I'll be itself. waiting for you with an umbrella. <laughs> okay. I'm open, so here's the big question. How much? So the price is $429,000. Wow. That's Four twenty nine gives us a huge amount of negotiation power. We can come in a little bit higher because now we're the big fish. Okay, I like this. I love this fireplace. Yes, this is a wood burning fireplace. I like the I white like wash. Mm -hmm. I like the hardwood floors on here. I also like the fact that there's a huge window over here, bringing in that natural sunlight. Here's the office. Is this considered a bedroom or is this no, an office? This is actually an office. So it's three bedrooms and this. Plus the office. Look at that. I still like the two story. You do. Yeah. So far, you just have to show me house. something to like wow me and blow me away. I got something for you. Wow. Look at this, this kitchen, right? This is what I'm talking about, Fred. This is gorgeous. I like how clean it is. I love the white and the gold. I like the marble. Mm -hmm. I love how big the sink is, and it's super deep. Yeah, it's I a big sink. I put you in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> this is a full bathroom, OK? Oh. As I mentioned, this house has wow. two bathrooms. Nice. This bathroom is tall. Another space in the house that doesn't have to be touched, ready to <laughs> rock and roll. This is what we've been looking for. It's a turnkey home, and it has three bedrooms and an office. This is everything that we've been asking for. Oh, wow. Ta-da! Do you uh, see like this sunlight? I really like the sunlight. I like it. it. Yeah. Definitely bigger than what we have now, so <laughs> I like it. It does have two closets. Which is great. Yeah. One well, for you, George, and one for you, Naya. OK. Oh, wow. This Decent is size. deep. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> you can fit in here. <laughs> This yard is crazy. The only time I've ever seen greenery like this is in Central Park or something. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Again, the joys of New Jersey, my friend. Are you up for this challenge, babe? Listen, I, get, I can get a seated tractor. <laughs> I can handle this. Okay. I agree. I, mean, I think you got it. Come on, look at this house. I don't it know. has a lot of things on our list. I don't know, guys. It's just something about the two-story that's like, it's calling my name. It's calling really? my name. Is it any way that we can see the other property just one more time, the two-story? Naya's on the fence about putting an offer on the one-story ranch. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the open house for the two-story home, and we're going to weigh our options. I do love that kitchen. Like, I definitely feel like that kitchen has a piece of my heart. But look at this block, you guys. You feel the block? block? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. man. Look at this line. That's a lot of people Oh, there. my gosh. It's the market, man. It's hot. It's hot. And there's a lot of eyeballs on this now. OK. I'm going to go talk to the listing agent and uh, find out the scoop of what's going on with the house. OK. And I'll get back to you. But stay online. All right, okay? all right. 
You see this line? Yeah. We waited, and now there's a line. Now I'm afraid that we might lose this house. When are you guys doing Highest and Best? Um, highest and Best is due in two days. Two days? Yeah. Okay. One day. Let me go yeah. ahead and talk to the buyers. Okay. Sounds and good. Uh, we'll talk. All right. All right. Good. Take All right, care. Bye bye. We have people over. They can park there, park in front All right, of guys. House. So. All right, you got the serious face. I got, I got, I got a few updates for you. They have 15 offers on the table. 15. Yeah, we're gonna, we might need to switch the strategy a little bit. What do you recommend? Do you think we should still go see it? I mean. No, no, I think we need to move. I think we should make a decision right now. This home compared to the other home, I like the other home. I like the fact that it's fully renovated. We could have had this house yesterday for 480. I know. I know. But even though the one story is 429, yes. 429 yeah. that doesn't mean we're gonna get it for 429. That is true. And then we might be paying more for that house than it's really kind of worth in our eyes. I know when you first come into a home, you'll know the first 10 minutes if it's yours or not, and I feel like you're getting some good vibes when you come back. I definitely love yeah. the, the neighborhood. I like the neighborhood compared to where the ranch home is. I can picture Dylan playing out here. So, so that sounds uh, like you're doing? ready. I think we definitely should just put an offer on this house. Oh, yes, I'm excited. Uh, Let's make it official. I like that. I like that. I like that. OK, so now we got to talk numbers, right? We do have to talk numbers. OK. And I'm okay. not sure that 480 is going to be competitive, Okay. especially with all these eyeballs and the 15 offers. What do you think about, like, 490? Should we do, like, 490? 490? You can. However, if you really want the house mm -hmm. and you really want to be competitive, I'd say 500K. 500? So 500? Yeah. Wow. $20,000 okay. more in one day? Wow. That's just to seal the deal. You don't have to, but I would recommend it based on what I see on this line. What we can do is 10% down. Maybe we could use the rest of that other 10% to do the things that you wanted to do in the house. OK. Let's go for it, Fred. Let's do make it. it happen. All right. Yes. It's a little nerve wracking, but you know, <laughs> hopefully this is the one. We're going to put the offer in at $500,000 and 10% down. Now, it's time for it to happen. Hey, Fred. I'm a little nervous. Are you calling with good news or bad <laughs> Well, listen, I am calling with good news. Your offer just got accepted. What? Are you kidding me? No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. For $500,000, our offer beat all the other offers home. So I'm super excited for you guys. OK. The next step, as I mentioned, is we're going to go into the home inspections. But for now, I just want you guys to just celebrate. This is a big win. This is a big first step. OK. Take care. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, what's going on, friend? Hiya, George. We just got the results back from the home inspection, and it's not good news. The first thing that we did find was that the roof was at its life expectancy. So there's some discoloration, yeah. and you know, it's pretty much aged. Do we need a new roof, or? Yeah, at some point, you know, water intrusion can come into the attic, to the home. Jeez. How much does that typically cost? A typical roof can run you 15 grand, possibly more. Oh, God. This is a low. I wasn't prepared for this. All I hear is more money, more money, more money being spent on this house. Oh, gosh. I don't know if we're going to be able to move forward with this home. Can we walk away from the deal? We can definitely walk away and look for a new home. Uh, or I can do another strategy, which is ask them for a seller's credit. And a seller's credit is when they provide a specific amount of money so that you can be able to fix the roof yourself. Right. Okay? Just keep us posted. Let us know. Absolutely. I do these things all the time. Okay. Uh, I'm not alarmed. I have a feeling that they know about this roof already. Fred's going to go speak to the sellers, try to get us as much as he can. I'm nervous. I know you're nervous. Definitely but we're gonna put our faith in Fred. Hey, Melissa, it's Fred, how you doing? I reached out to the seller's agent to talk about the possibilities of a seller's credit. They came back to us with $2,000. $2,000 for a roof. Okay, thanks, bye-bye. I told Naya and George, let's go for $10,000. Hopefully they would budge. This is Fred Tessier, guess what? They budged. $10,000 is what they gave us as a seller's credit. I'm really excited. This is going to the closing table. Today is closing day. And we're so excited. Fred's strategy worked. We got $10,000 towards the roof, and we're just so happy. Fred has been great through this whole process from yeah. beginning to end. Ooh. Look at oh, this yeah. sign. Wow. Fred, you are amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. Naya, George, and little Dylan are officially homeowners, and they're also New Jerseyans. 
I'm excited and I'm proud of you guys. You guys did it. We just came from closing and you are officially homeowners. Just wanted to be here and just deliver the key to you guys for the first time. Thank you, friend. <laughs> we have the key. And I wanted to just see you guys off on your new home. And Naya and George got the home that they loved. In real estate, homes go quickly. If you don't move fast, you're gonna lose. They listened to everything that I told them about strategy and we actually won. And I'm super proud of them and I'm excited for them.